What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. Today we're going to be hopping into some Renly and Shaita summons. Uh, it should have just uh, reset, or like the reset time essentially for the game. So if we hop over to, I'm trying to think where we should actually hop over. I mean, we'll see it in a second. So if we hop over to Scout, we should actually, yep, it's here. But we're going to back out so we can actually see the animations real quick before we hop into some summons. So let's see what their animations look like. The Knight's Recollections. Okay, so he is using it for his incarnate. Okay, that makes sense. They look a lot bigger in that uh, frame right there. Ooh. I like his art. It looks so good. He is the top priority here because he... Uh, um, one, he's one of my favorite Integrity Knights, if not my favorite. And two, he's a wind unit, and I am in desperate need of that. Alright, let's see what Shaitas looks like. <laughs> Especially she's like, uh Okay, so it's literally when she was charging at ISKCON. Very, very cool. Uh, both their arts look great. I love having those for uh, the thumbnails or whatever. Um, okay, so they are live in the game. Um, as we talked about in the previous video, Renly does have a regular sword as his weapon. It's not just his uh, little flying daggers. And then we also have the event up, which... Sometime tomorrow, I'll do a video on the boss stages over here. Obviously, Glitter Gembu is a light attribute. So, if you're just looking for the unit that's going to help you more during this, it's definitely going to be Sheta with her being a dark attribute. And then, if you have, you know, Adis, Kirito, Yuki, um, Yuna, uh, you're going to be set for this. Uh, so, very, very cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. We're going to see how the first summon goes. But um, if we do pull Renly or Shaita, we'll definitely hop over and at least do one multi on the weapon banner. Oops. Didn't mean to back out all the way there. But let, just for a quick refresher, in case you haven't seen my breakdown, we'll just go over what they both do. They are both break units with their own unique kind of like twist. So Shaita has skill connect back rush B+. Plus. Slash attack strong on single enemy and lowers magic attack 10% for one turn and then has the normal 50% incarnate break. She has an attack all assault ability, which does an additional assault on the enemy that you're actually targeting. So the total damage on that one enemy will be extra strong while it'll just be strong on everybody else. Uh, so that's actually really good for attack all stuff. And then her enhance is sharpness and evade. So raise the attack by 20% and then raise the evasion by 20% for two turns. Um, and then as we just saw, her incarnate right there is a slash on a single enemy and inflicts continuous damage for two turns. So very, very cool there. Then over with Renly, his break skill is, uh, skill connect, back rush gale, slash attack strong on single enemy, inflicts wind continuous damage for three turns and incarnate break 50%, pretty standard for the end of that. Uh, Avalanche is his assault slash attack extra strong on single enemy and he lowers physical resistance by 20% for one turn and then he also has uh, an enhance ability but he is quick and sharpness so raise the attack of all allies by 15% for two turns and then short wait time after using skill so that's pretty nice you can use that and then still be able to use another ability and the only other thing to mention about this banner other than the fact that it's a step up as usual is that they finally added um, Kirito and Sinon from the Gun Gale banner to the general pool. So you do have a chance to uh, pull them. Obviously a very fleeting chance with all the units that are essentially in here. The next units, I believe, 
if they decide to add them and they they uh, don't skip or whatever and they actually include seasonals, we should see, I think, um, uh, Roni and uh, Tees for the Valentine's banner. I, I was trying to remember uh, what I was talking about there. But uh, they should be, I think, the next ones that we see in there. So that'll be interesting to see there. Um, but yeah, so usual step up banner. Step one's half off and then step five guarantees you a four star with a 50% chance of it being one of these two units. And then step six goes to being a 1.5% increase. So instead of it being 3% chance for a four star, you're essentially getting like probably like a 5% chance. So not that much of an increase, but you know, some is better than none. I think we'll do two multis here. We'll do step one and two because I really do want to try and get Renly if I can. I don't have enough to limit break him at all, but um, I do I do want to kind of start building more on wind units. So we'll do the first two steps here. We get nothing there. That's where we'll stop. And then I'll probably do a uh, multi on his rate up when it comes in a few days. Because right now they just put the rate up for um i forget i forget which one this is uh which rate up are you for because I, I okay feasel Fe i forget which one's Lino, which one's feasel so this one's for feasel they already had the Lino one up so if you wanted to summon on that one you missed your chance with that one but that one will be up for what does this go until the 21st so probably like the 22nd or the 23rd we'll see probably renly or shaitas come up next so Without further ado, let's go ahead, let's just hop in, and uh, let's see if we can pull us a Renly. I mean, if I pull Shaita, that's fine, you know, adds more to my dark, but um, Kirito and Yuki have been pretty decent in getting me through stuff, so I'm not, like, super worried about that. Oh, I like to see that, like, show me all darkness. Okay. It's darker. Oh, there, I, we're getting Shaita. Well, there you go with that. They showed Shaita in the little, uh, animation. Yep, there she is. Very, very cool that we're getting one of the two units. We'll definitely stop after this multi and go for the weapon. And then I'll, I'll do a multi in a few days on Renly's raid up. All right, well, that gives me another dark unit to use. Not like I have any dark crystals either. That'd be so funny if we if we just get both in one. Because I do really want Renly. That is only the... Are we... How many times are we going to get Zinc? Um, that's only the second time I've seen that summon animation where the character's face, like, shows up in the animation. The first time was on... I think it was one of the first four-star guaranteed tickets we got in, like, the first week of the game. Or it might have been one of the first multis I did where it showed Asuna's face and I got her. Um, but other than that, that's the only times I've seen it. What's with all the doubles, like, back-to-back? -back? Hello, Cardinal. Maybe you'll get a uh, four-star eventually. I'm, like, waiting to see if we get another. Okay. Okay. Uh, no complaints there. Step one, giving us a four star. I will definitely take that. Getting some of that luck right there. So yeah, I'm not going to do step two. I'm going to wait for Renly step up and then do a step on there. See if I can get him there. If I end up doing more than one multi on the step up, I'll make another video on that. But let's do, before we get on out of here, let's do a multi on the weapon banner. Not like it's super necessary, but either one of these swords I can obviously use because they are both sword units. So it really wouldn't matter which one I got if I do get one of them. Um, obviously, ideally, we want to get the dark sword so we can give it her, give shade to her actual sword. Show us the Alice sword right now. Okay, no, but purple. Okay, blue. So uh, I think that pretty much guarantees we're getting shafted. I don't know if it guarantees. I think you can still get a four star weapon off a uh, blue slash, but. I'm not actually sure. I'm not expecting much here. Oop. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is that? 
Yeah, I mean, they're starting to add all these different weapon types, so you gotta get used to seeing different things. You barely see the wands in, like, the animation when they pop in. Okay. Alright, well, that's a three-star wand, or mace, so that's kind of nice. Uh, it's not looking like we're walking away with a brand new weapon, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Honestly, it's fine because um, I can use any Dark Sword on her if I do end up using her. But like I mentioned before, I don't actually have any Limit Break Crystals. So the only way I'd be able to uh, Limit Break her at all is just going to be from whatever they have in here. Which actually, I just want to look real quick. Um... How many? Yeah, it's just 25, so that's not going to be enough for me to really do anything. So Shaita's going to be sitting at uh, level 80 for quite a little while, but that's okay. It's not like a huge deal. Since I already have two level 100 dark units, I'm sure getting through these boss battles won't be like too crazy hard. Uh, it's not going to be like the current ranking event, which is actually really annoying. I know some people have been having an easier time with it, usually if you have the uh, ALO Asuna. But with my only healer being the green Leafa, I don't really have that luxury of it being as easy for me. So we got another four star added to our list. We have 26 total. Um, really just like 20 or so actual like summonable ones. Um, but I'm not going to complain. We got Shaita. That's in our four star in our dark unit. So what is that? One, two, three... Actually, no, I can. I have a full team now. I forgot Liz is a dark unit, so I have a full uh, team of four summonable uh, dark units, so this is actually going to be great. I, I, I almost forgot about uh, Liz right here. And then we did just pull a four-star mate, or, yeah, we pulled a three-star mace in the uh, summon, but obviously she already has the free-to-play one, but we'll see which one's better when I actually hop into that. But those will probably definitely be the four characters I use here. Um, Liz has a heal, right? Yeah, she recovers weak for all allies, so she might actually be pretty useful when I hop into this, uh, event itself. So, Dark is gonna be my friend here, and also not my friend, because I'll take double damage, but it is what it is. Anyways, guys, let me know how your pulls went down below if you did summon. Uh, I do want to mention that there were data mines for a Queenella, a light rapier Queenella, so I would expect her within the next week or so. So if you don't need, you know, a wind unit or a dark unit or you just don't care for these characters, I would recommend saving. But for me, I really do want to pull Renly, so I am probably going to keep going to try and get him. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.